And Harry's war on the British press continued today with his lapdog Omid Scobie taking the stand to give evidence at his phone hacking trial against Mirror Group newspapers. The Sussex's mouthpiece claims he heard the Daily Mirror's then editor Piers Morgan discussing use of voicemails when he was on work experience at the paper in 2002. Although I have to say I'm not sure how much I trust what he has to say in this court case, given that he also claimed that he had never socialised with Prince Harry, despite the fact that in the book Finding Freedom, he recounts how he once went for drinks with Prince Harry. So where was he lying? In court or in his book? But anyway, as Harry and Meghan's traditional base continue their unwavering support, a damning new critique of the pair has surprisingly come from the respected diarist and former Labour MP Chris Mullen. In his latest book, the lefty former Daily Mirror journalist controversially calls Meghan Markle a cuckoo who suffers from, quote, woke Californian hang-ups. And in a sensational outspoken attack, Mullen predicts Harry will come, quote, limping home to Britain when their marriage ends in tears. But what do you think? Is former Labour Minister and diarist Chris Mullen right that Prince Harry will come limping home when his marriage to Meghan ends? Dan at GBNews.uk. Voted our poll at GB News on Twitter. But lacing up their gloves on this clash tonight is American commentator Ernest Owens, columnist, friend of the Queen, Petronella Wyatt, and editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, Ingrid Seward. So Petronella, I mean, very strong statement from Chris Mullins, especially given he's on the left and a lot of Labour folks seem to love Harry and Meghan for some reason. But he's right, isn't he? Um, yes, he's completely right. Uh, a funny thing is that a lot of people on the left aren't, aren't woke. Um, mm. And um, Harry is not woke either. Um, you could say that Harry is the archetypal old-fashioned Englishman. He was brought up a royal prince. Um, his tastes are those of a very old-fashioned Englishman, mucking about in the countryside, shooting things. He loved his time in the army. I mean, he is not suited to the world of California at all. And I can't see him continuing on his own in America because there's no career that he could sort of possibly do. I mean, his career, um, so to speak, has been based on his royal connections and trashing his family. So I can't see him sort of guessing mm. a job. And also Americans are not great with the hereditary principle. So I think Harry, for example, on its own, if it all went wrong, um, would quickly find himself totally friendless in America. Ingrid Seward, you're, you're not uh, totally in agreement with Chris Mullen on this. No, I'm not. And normally I agree with Petronella, but I don't on this occasion. I think the last thing Harry would ever want to do, A, is leave Meghan or allow Meghan to leave him, and B, uh, return to this country. He doesn't want to return to this country. He's really happy in California. That's where his source of income is. That's where his children are. That's why his children are probably likely to remain because, you know, if they were to divorce, the Californian law, I believe, I mean, I'm not an expert on this, but it usually favours the woman and also... Yeah. Um, his so she's child, trapped him in California in now. <sighs> Ernest, you're sighing. Why? It's rubbish. It's, this is rubbish. Like... There's no sign that they're going to be downward. I think this is just a situation where I think you all have buyer's remorse over there in Great Britain. I think that you all really pushed them out and really pushed, you know, Harry out, Prince Harry. And now that he's really moving on his life and letting go, you all are starting to create your own narratives. Some of these people are creating their own narratives to try to justify the reality that he will come back. He's not coming back. Before before he even got married, he had concerns about the way that he lived his life. He's always been a rebel at heart. And whether he's with her or not, which I think they're going to be together for a very long time, he's not going right back to his brother or his father. And that's just that. Ernest, I promise you, you know, no buyer's remorse this end. 
No buyer's remorse this end, I promise you. The thing is, Petronella, though, you only have to look at the track record of Meghan Markle to understand why Chris Mullen would feel this way. Um, I mean, she dumped her fiancé by sending the wedding... Sorry, husband. She dumped her husband by sending the wedding ring back to him in the post, and that's how the bloke found out. Um, look, I he can't was not speculate a as to the state of their marriage. I'm not he in their marriage. Um, okay, if, they it, up, if they were to break up... If they were to break up... I I see Ingrid's point, um, but I do I certainly see him leaving America because I think he would feel very humiliated there on his own and have nothing to do. I could see him going to Africa, perhaps. Mm. Um, I know there's a problem with his brother and his father, but I don't think he's just necessarily going to spend the rest of his life in America if anything went wrong. And and what what I do hear, and I have friends who come across Meghan and Harry is that mm. she she's very independent. She can stand on her own two feet without him, if needs be. I think he needs her, funny enough, more than the other way around. Um, I think yeah, she... Yeah, things have changed. Things have there's changed. Been a, there's been a, I think a power imbalance. She was a little embarrassed by some of the, let's Spare. say, the kind of sexier sort of... Um, slightly sexist elements of Spare, all the stuff about the frozen todger and losing his virginity, which is very Hooray Henry kind of stuff. It's not sort of woke Californian um, stuff at all. So they are an odd couple. We, we have to... You, you can't sort of skirt around or deny that. Mm. They are an odd couple. Ernest? I think the way you're describing parts of America is hilarious. I think anyone watching from U.S. calling it woke California would laugh. Now, L.A., sure, but not the rest of California, not the rest of the country. And I, w- I would say on many fronts that this is a situation that it just seems like, a bu- again, a bunch of rubbish. Like, I don't know where this is coming from. It's based on somebody's theory that it just isn't going to play out. And I just feel like this is the same thing that happened with the coronation. Everyone was like, oh, Prince Harry's not going to be there. He was there. Like, it's always these theories. And then she they wasn't always there. Get and then she was wasn't there. Certainly, but you can't say, nobody can say that a marriage is going to last forever, though, can they? Okay, you they can, but it's not going to be immediate. I, I, would, I would think yes, it's going to be immediate. They went through everything together. I think okay, let Ingrid come in. All this stuff. And I just think it's hilarious that you all think that now is going to be the doom. Okay, let Ingrid come in. I I agree with you. I don't think Harry will come back. I think Harry's life is now in America. And also, even if he's not with Meghan, girls are going to fall all over him. Harry is a prince of the blood. He always will be. He's never going to be short of female company. And I think he would like to remain. And I don't think for a moment he and Meghan will separate or get divorced. Okay. I don't think that's what she okay. wants um, or needs either. I, I, Ingrid, can I, I just ask you... to be where his children are. 